25th of August 2018. Welcome to Peach Boxing. Bo uh, pu sorry, trading with punches. Tra trading punches. Uh, or punching with tradies. Right now, here is our first pro of the evening, Alex Hannon. All originally from Dunedin, now living in I think New South Wales, Australia. Walking in with a Deontay Wilder type mask. Oh, I love the mask. Or even, if you want to go further back to that, uh, a Bernard the Executioner Hopkins mask. Exactly. Hopkins was a great boxer. World champion at 51 years of age. Was he a unified champion as well? Unfortunately not a unified champion at 50. Well, he was certainly a unified uh, middleweight and a light heavyweight champion. Uh, not a unified uh, light heavyweight champion at 51, but a, a legitimate world champion at 51. Exactly, exactly. Unbelievable. This is Alex Hannon in the red corner, correct, Benji? Yep, that is correct. He's a born and bred Kiwi, but now living in Australia. He wanted to go to Australia to uh, get some better competition uh, when he turned pro, and uh, he knew that in New Zealand we don't have as big as uh, industry in boxing than they do in Australia. So he's not one that they can claim off us later down the uh, track? Unfortunately not. But Fortunately he wants, not. But he wants to um, become New Zealand champion and Australian champion, so maybe that could happen one day. And we've got Matthew here in the blue corner. To a collar, is that how you say it? I believe so. He's a journeyman. Uh, no, no wins in his uh, career, only losses. His last fight was against Ray Musson, and that only lasted the first round. So, so you were saying before uh, you came on, Alex Hannon... Uh, wants a, a bit of uh, Andre Mikhailovich, our other middleweight. <laughs> I'm not supposed to talk about it, uh, <laughs> but uh, since, since you brought it up, it, you can't blame me. Yeah, uh, they have like, a little bit of a rivalry uh, thing going on we'll there. We'll call it a rivalry at this point, not a beef. Not a beef. I, I guess you can have a beef. Wow, and he's uh, a bit of showmanship there as well. Looks very confident. He's very confident. He thinks he can beat uh, Shea Brock. He thinks he can beat Gunnar Jackson. And he thinks he can beat Bone Morgan. He's that confident. Wow. And his record thus far is how many? Six wins, zero losses. And how many KOs? Uh, six wins, I think. I'll have to double check that. Let me just like, uh, bring this up. So, Derry said we can never say for sure what's going to happen in boxing. But this is a, a keep busy fight for him. I guess. Uh, and like just to say, hi New Zealand, I'm here. I'm from New Zealand, so I'm going to have this fight here. But um, his manager thinks uh, this could be his one and only fight in New Zealand, so you never know. So New Zealand, enjoy him while he can. Yeah, exactly. Stay sweet on his trunks. He's not sponsored by a candy company or anything like that. Now let's see how, um, how long this uh, fight lasts. It could go the distance, but you never know. For quite a tall middleweight, he's, he, he starts from quite a, a, a crouched position. I'm sorry, he's actually seven wins, four KOs. Okay, so maybe not a massive amount of power thus far, but it could be that he's fought a decent level of opposition. We have actually had a conversation with him. He's a, um, he first started off his pro career in West Australia. Now he's in uh, New South Wales. You can tell that he's uh, quite skillful. He is a former New Zealand amateur champion as well. Multiple Golden Gloves champion. He's got that long lean sort of Thomas Hearns look about him. Or, you, you know, Deontay Wilder. Oh, oh nice can, body shot. You can hear those uh, punches. Really going to the body. You can hear those shots stunning. You can hear them from, as you say, Stuart Island. Those body shots. Oh, boy. I'm not even in the fight, and my ribs are hurting. To a colo, um, if he takes too many more of those, he's going to certainly feel those tomorrow. Probably feel them next week. I'd like to see maybe just a bit more of a jab from uh, to a colo. Oh, there from, we go. Well, from Alex Hannon as well. There we go. He's using it a bit more. Overhand right to a colo, just sort of nods at him, says, "Bring it on." It's interesting. Um, but Alex Hannon had, I think he's got the reach advantage. He's got the height advantage. Mm. But he's trying to fight on the inside. Mm. You'd not expect that to, for him to uh, fight on the outside with that, that sort of thing. But then again, he is the more aggressor. You can see from, from his posture, though, in the stance, he, he's, he's not... He's, he's almost got quite a con convex kind of uh, 
shape to him. He, he looks to fight low for a tall man. I think that he's receiving too many unnecessary punches, um, Alex. Like, he's letting a uh, match, like, just throwing too many, I think. And landing too many. Sometimes, though, when you know another guy can't hurt you, you, you know, your defence isn't always as uh, on point as it, it might normally be. Oh, I, I guess. But it's just it's one of those things. It's a little bit unnecessary um, um, letting him throw those punches. He's going to fight on the inside. I'd like to see maybe just um, him, add, him add a, uh, an uppercut into the uh, repertoire as well. Well, that's what Matt can actually do in retaliation of him actually fighting on the inside. Since he's going down, his, you can also see his chin's a little bit poking out. Mm. So Matt could actually just easily, if he goes on the inside, get in like a powerful right uppercut. Snapping that jab out now, which I like to see. And when he does, he totally dictates the action. And he's actually now using his reach advantage. So yes. Can throw, he, can, he can throw a right hand off that jab. And there it goes, just like that. And bang to the body. Oh, oh shot after the bell. Right oh, after, after the bell. Matthew Tuacola has a kind of a, a sort of a shop-worn look to him already, up, even after that first round. You know, um, Darcy, Darcy Williams is the referee. He didn't actually give like a telling off to... Alex, like, hey, listen for the bell. After that, shot after the bell. No, he sort of let that one go. I, he, some people like to have a very disciplined referee. He will, I guess he would let that one go, but I would hope that if that happened again, he would actually be on to it. Who trains uh, Alex Hannon? Uh, I, it's all the way from uh, Sydney, New South Wales. Kev Gibson is his manager. The uh, Kiwi bloke. Yeah, ki uh, Kiwi bloke. Yeah. He's got a Kiwi manager. Oh, there we go. Matt is actually saying uh, returning those punches. Oh, there we go. Nice little uppercut of sorts there. From. Uh, yeah, yeah. To a colo. I'll search up uh, who's actually training him so we could actually get more of a. Uh, Alex Hannon just continues to lay it on though. Doing our research right here, right on the job. Lead right hand, goes in, clinches. So he's actually being trained by Lauren Eagle, who is a woman's uh, Australian champion. Oh, yes, there's Lauren down there. I can see her. And also Former world champion, I think, Lauren Eagle. Probably, yeah, that's her. And yeah. Billy Hussein. Yeah. Hussein, Billy Hussein. There's another boxer, as we all know, from Australia. There we go. You know, Alex is like uh, cornering him, but not actually going wild as he ends up into that corner. I'd like to see like just a little bit more, like, let those hands go. I mean, they back him out into the corner. Still continue to work the body, and as if this fight goes a few more rounds, that will start to pay dividends. That really, that sucks the air out of a guy. It's like letting down tyre slowly when you continually hit a guy with a body shot. Reduces his movement, reduces his power, and you can see Tuacola is almost looking to fold in now. I mean, he's they're really damaging him. Yeah, well, to, uh, Matt, Matt is not doing. Uh, oh, and there, there it goes. Go. Oh, down. hold on, he punched him when he was on the on the floor. Again, you would think that Darcy would actually step in and do some telling off, but I don't think he's going to get up. Oh, he's just beaten the oh. count. He 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 counted to the count of ten just then. How often does that happen? Oh. I think this fight could end this round. I think this is the second time uh, since I've oh, been yeah. interested in boxing that I've seen a referee actually count to the count of 10 and let the fight continue. Mm. It's a rarity, that's for sure. Yeah, it is a very much a rarity. Tuakaro, he, he, looks, he looks defeated, doesn't he? Yeah, that's the second he's, time he got knocked ready, down. He's ready to go. Maybe it's almost time to just wave it off. He's, going to get, so. he's just going to get hurt. One more body shot, I think. <laughs> you say that as the body <laughs> shot landed. <laughs> ah, and Tuakola uh, actually fired back for the first time in a while. But they're, they're really, they're hurting him. But he isn't that completely like, oh, there we yeah. go. That's it. That's yeah. it. He was throwing back a little bit. Alex Hannon on the ropes to saying, I'm the champion. I'm here.
You want to buy TKO Alex Hannon. An, an impressive win for two, uh, for Alex Hannon over uh, Matthew Tuacolo. Uh, probably did what he had to do, was expected to do, which was win in a dominating fashion. But he, he showed nice, uh, particularly nice body work there. Yeah, exactly. It's like, you know, he didn't, need, um, he didn't push himself too much. He just needed, to, like, he just did what he needed to do and that was it. I wonder what his uh, tattoos are on his ribs though. Seems to have some scripture there. Maybe it's a poem. Got a nice, got love a nice poem. Maybe his horoscope. Who knows? <laughs> but he did what he needed to do against an overmatched opponent. Just go out, dominate pretty much every minute of every round. Uh, work on a few things. Pick up the win. Job done. Let's see if we get a little bit of smack talk or a bit of beef talk in the after fight interview. Yeah, that would be great. See if he actually even mentions. You know? See if he actually calls out Andre. I doubt it because they've been told not to comment about those sorts of things. Well, you know, though, after the fight, the testosterone uh, is uh, high and emotions and adrenaline. Let's see if he says something he's not supposed to. about uh, the beef, but oh, I'm pretty, 